Hello, and welcome to the EndoOptics in-service video for the E2 endoscopic laser system. Our objective is to provide complete instruction for operating room personnel on setup, purpose, operation, and maintenance of the E2 console and microendoscopes. This video is presented in the following sections, which can be accessed individually as needed. We'll first take a look at the E2 endoscopic laser system's components and capabilities. Then review training information delivered with your system. Next, we'll walk you through setting up the E2 components and the logistics of system positioning for your OR. Then, in order to get you ready for your first case, you'll be instructed on system settings and proper handling of the endoscopes during surgery. And finally, we'll go over troubleshooting any issues that might emerge. We'll look at how to recognize and avoid damage to the endoscopes that could put them permanently out of commission and help you establish proper techniques for maintaining your endoscopes. The basic components of the system are the E2 console and foot switch, a TV monitor, the system cart, and the laser microendoscopes. Our system cart has two levels with an extended lower shelf. The E2 console houses an 810 nanometer diode laser, a high resolution video camera, and a 175 or 300 watt xenon light source. A removable video adapter is inserted into the console and can be easily changed to accommodate different endoscopes. The flat screen monitor can be adjusted to provide the best view for both surgeon and operator. A swing arm option is also available for greater flexibility. The foot switch has two variations, the first controlling laser duration only, and another which controls illumination level as well as laser delivery. Our fiber optic microendoscopes combine wide field illumination, laser, and video imaging along the flexible cable. Hand pieces are constructed with a 19, 20, or 23 gauge tip. The combination of light, laser, and image provided through our microendoscopes allows the surgeon to view and treat areas of the eye that are otherwise inaccessible. When cared for properly, these reusable instruments offer a significant number of uses. It is very important that the endoscopes are handled with great care. We strongly suggest that they remain in their cases until the staff has reviewed the handling instructions included in this tutorial.